Oh. Hi. It just starts. Hello, game. Hey guys, we're playing Little Imps, which is, at first glance, probably a Dungeon Keeper type game. Oh. Suddenly a pop-up happened. Okay, I was surprised. Admittedly, I haven't played Dungeon Keeper. And I also haven't played the game that came out like four years ago that was like Dungeon Keeper or anything like that, so I can't actually compare it. I'm just kind of hopping in. But this is Little Imps. More imps. Welcome to your dungeon, master. We need more earth imps. Expand your dorm. Have two dorm floors in your dungeon. Oh, those are goals. Have two beds. Why is beds in quotes? Oh, are they not really good beds? Are they like beds? Alright, so... I need to make dorms and beds. There's one little guy there. Now click your pickaxe. I want to say it's spelled wrong, but I'm honestly not entirely sure. Click, click. Ooh. You need to deselect the pickaxe to make your imps start working. Okay. So they, they only work when you're not currently selecting it. Oh, okay, it just doesn't count down second by second. I was a little worried. It said one minute. I'm like, you... Don't make me wait ten... Don't make me, don't make me wait a full minute just for this. Oh, you you have to click a button to confirm. I wonder why. Well, look at him go. Alright. Oh, so that's the bed. So I should probably add dorm tiles right there, right? What is he doing right now? Six more seconds. One more sec. What is he doing? Yeah? Oh, it's him like finishing the room as a whole. Okay. Anyway, let's look for dorm tiles in this interface. Uh, what did I do? Oh, hey. Well, there's a lot going on here. That requires gold stuff and... It's purple stuff. This is a little okay. So over here, oh, we have like a th we have ten thousand gold, a hundred purple crystals, three thousand knowledge. There's a throne room tile. Somewhere there's a dorm room tile. Evidently, that's what he said, right? Can I click on him again? Yeah, two dorm floor tiles. Okay, so how do I find that? Orders? Offers? Okay. Get, game does kind of just dump you in, huh? Ah, the Earth Imp is dumb. Now let's buy some floor tiles from Delay. Click on the dorm in the menu bar. Uh, this one. That's the dorm thing? The moon, I guess? I guess, yeah, a moon with a sleeping cap is like a symbol of a sleeping person. Alright. Buy buy two of them. Let's place them. Oh, you have to place them by clicking the place button. There we go. And then... Grab your imp by double clicking him and place him on the same spot to make him start working. Okay, hey little guy. Oh. And then go over here. No? Double... Eh. How do I... Double click. There, there we go. Ha ha! Oops. Do it. Get to work. I kinda wanna zoom in because it's so small on the screen. All the assets. Good! I mean... Evil Lord. Could he be any slower? We'd best build some beds in the meantime. Click on the dorm in the menu bar. Right, uh... Dorm. Bye. Get some beds. And then we'll place the beds right over here in the bed spot. There we go. Oh, he doesn't have to work on them. They just automatically, instantly are there. Oh, there's a dorm icon. Alright, so now we're just gonna wait politely for this guy to finish. Any minute now.
There we go. Welcome to your dungeon, master. You need more imps? Expand your dorm. No, that's just the mess. That's the thing I already did. <laughs> Whoops. You've leveled from one to two. The following items... It is hard to make out what these things are. Wall torch, fire basket. Just because the icons are so... I guess it's, it's always the same scale no matter what, is the idea. Okay. Have 12 dorm floor tiles in your dungeon, have one fire basket in your dungeon. If you need more monsters, you should expand your rooms to attract them. Okay. A fire basket. Click the pickaxe and we'll start, we'll start removal mode. There we go. Hey, we're slowly getting more dudes. There we go. Oop. That's the ticket. Now choose the fire basket and click the buy button. Uh, hello. Get him. Where should I put the fire basket? Like, just anywhere? Somewhere in your dungeon. Yeah, but like, where? Uh, I would imagine loca location matters on some level, right? What if I put it in here where they can't even reach it? Haha. <laughs> I think this is going to be surface access. Okay. I'll just plop it right there. Yeah, plus one glory. They just want confirmation. It's not just that they want to do things, they want people to see that they did things. Look over here, mommy, look what I did. I seek your approval at all costs. You can place several floor tiles at a time. This time, we're fine with four tiles. Choose one tile, click the buy option, and, and yeah. Wanna get them dorm tiles. No, ah, the interface, no. Uh, floor tiles place there. Uh, there. There? Oh, is it working? Uh, place... there. Oh, I guess the idea is they have to finish clearing each spot before I can actually place them. Earth Imp arrived! Yeah, is it the one that I'm already using? Yeah, it probably is. Just probably just noticed that pop-up. We're halfway out of money already. What we've done has been very expensive, because all of these things are a thousand each. We better actually start getting money, right? We need a kitchen. Your infallibility. There are so many useful monsters that might decide to move in with us. If only we had a kitchen. Destroy one rock, all right. Have nine kitchen floor tiles, holy shit. Uh, one stock pot, one storage cabinet. That's a lot of things. Is there a place where I can make my tasks show up on the screens? That's... Choose favorite image. Um... These guys look like- look at him! These are characters. Sure, why not? That's not what I'm going for, though. Uh, I was- just wanted to see if I can make the task show up on the screen somewhere, since there's so much- There's a lot of that that's, like, extra and empty right now. Alright. Next to the dorm, there is a hollow we can use for our kitchen. Let's quarry the rock, build- uh, blocking the access. And entrance, uh, choose the pickaxe. They just want me to quickly open this door, because this is gonna be the kitchen, the- the pre-allocated 3x3 three three opening. Once they uh, get around to clearing it. Look at them go. Is there a fast forward feature, I wonder? I'm looking around the interface. Oh, I can only zoom out. That, that, I'm already at the maximum zoom. Okay. Oh right, I have to confirm. Kitchen. Did I already have kitchen tiles, or did I not have to buy them? Oh, they cost 2,000 each. I wouldn't have been able to afford buying them if they made me buy them. Alright. Go on, get. Get busy, y'all. It's gonna take a very long time, evidently. <laughs> three minutes per tile. Uh, okay, 15 seconds. I wonder why it says three minutes, by default. I don't like the view of it, like, floating out in the distance, so I kinda wanna- I kinda want the... 
Uh, let's unclick or whatever. No, uh, stop. There we go. There we go. Because I want to place it against the wall. So it looks like it, and it's just in a spot that makes some sense. There we go. A workshop for goblins. Hurry up, your lordship. We urgently need a few goblins to build I uh, great items for us and make sure to provide them with food. For goblins are a gluttonous people. That's, I mean, don't throw, you know, stones and glass houses and all that. <laughs> Cook two veggie soups, destroy nine rocks, have nine workshop floor tiles in your dungeon. So now we need to make a workshop. Okay. That'll take a little bit, but not, not that long by the standards of most of the other actions in this game, really. You can complete it at once for the price of one pink gem thing. Click the pot again. We should cook more than one helping. Click? Or... Ah, so how far to the right you click is how many get queued up. Okay. Gotcha. Now we just need to wait for a few years. Uh, let's pick the click the pickaxe. Let's get all these resources. Whoa! Excuse me. Thirty minutes. Is it really gonna take that long? Five minutes. Ah, I'm probably not gonna want to commit to that goal, huh? Let's have a look at your storage and sell and sell the soups you produce. You'll find another. Who am I selling them to? We're in a bit of gold. We need to trade our products. Let's sell the soups we produce. Who are, who's who are we selling soup to in this dungeon? That's curious. Nine gold. That was totally worth it. <laughs> oh no, nine gold. I have 12,000. <laughs> this wasn't even worth the time invested in it. Oh boy. Wonderful. Don't you think the halfway uh, hallway opposite the throne room would be a good place for a bookshop? Mine the rocks there. Why not? Let's click all these tiles. Can I even click those tiles? Because they're out of like line of sight. I'm not sure. Hey you. Come over here. Quite a sound effect. Mind the ones that don't take seven years to do. Haha. -ha. Can I have more guys? Please? Pretty please? I'd very much like more workers. It'd be very exciting to me if I could have some more workers. Make some more beds. Just to see if that attracts more dudes. Cause please, <laughs> holy crap! Yeah, this is a this is a multitasking game. This is a I glance at this every now and then while I'm otherwise doing like my homework or listening to podcasts or filing my taxes. <laughs> uh, I guess I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I guess we might as well just end this one early. All right, let's try. Yeah, let's do screen capture. Yeah, I, I can't do game capture because the game won't full screen for whatever reason. Oh well. So we're playing Bloom Labyrinth today. Click. Oops. Lost the impact when it wasn't... <laughs> when, it, when there was still another menu going. I think this might be a top-down, like, gauntlet-style game. But we'll see once it gets started. Oh, I had to click to continue. Oh. Was that like a tutorial message? I thought that was the loading screen. I was sitting here waiting. One day the world seemed different to me. And I began to dream. The first night. Was, was I supposed to click on it or wait? I, can't, I actually can't tell. Whoa, here we go. Okay. That's a density of not good things around me, huh? Okay. I can walk around. Elon's journal. A worn journal documenting everything Elon knows the labyrinth. Use tab or plus pad to enter inventory, then use journal E to or upper face button. 
So tab then E. No? Can't click on it. E doesn't do anything. Ah! Oh, ah, hi. Uh, hello. They caught you also, huh? How did you get here? The same way as you, I imagine. King Wego and his machines. He's the evil leader of those blue creatures, the blorbs. The blorb? Don't worry about the blorbs, only their armored guards are dangerous. It looks like you can take care of yourself, though. Just the type of person who can turn this battle in our favor. You'll help us fight too, won't you? I'll help. I knew you'd say that. I'll let my friends know they're coming. You're coming. They're deeper in the labyrinth. But first, we gotta do something about this door. Uh, bone pick. Crude makeshift bone pick handy for opening doors or lodging in troublesome gears. May sometimes break and hurt the user, but it's better than nothing. Oh, did he just hit me? Did you just hit me through the... You can attack me diagonally through the wall. I guess I have a shield or something. Because I have like a 60%. It's all... Like, that, that must be my health. That must be my shield. Listed anywhere around here. So that's who I am, apparently. Sometimes you need to talk. It just says that at the bottom is a general, like, piece of advice. Can I click on these other tabs? Every time I click, it closes the window. Huh. Not sure what the controls are there. Oh. Right click picks places where your circle goes. Oh, that's odd. How's it work? Definitely looks like the original gauntlet looking at this visual design here. Uh... How do I interact with it? Shit. <laughs> Options. Uh, controls help. So Q is use. Do I need to equip... Oh, okay. You can't use your mouse here. You have to WASD around. So use or Q equip? There we go. Ha ha! Pile of gold. Oh, th oh, that's gold. The blorbs seem particularly fond of these coins. I did not realize what I was looking at there. Given that it has the presentation visually of Gauntlet, I'm kind of surprised they felt the need to make the controls so complicated for some of these interactions, like open door. Key seems to open the odd blue doors throughout the labyrinth. <clears throat> it's an intricate key. Truffling, these mushrooms expel their spores when struck against the ground, causing a curious temporary effect on any living creatures nearby. Are you attacking me? Okay, how do I attack? Click, E, enter, space, tab. Uh, I can't figure out how to attack. Uh, use bind ability, hotkey pages. How do I attack? Bind ability, bind ability, bind ability. Lock on targets, right click, left click is use. Um. Am I crazy or do none of these things say attack? He's definitely attacking me. Uh. Dash. Sure, there's a dash ability, but how do I attack? Hey. Right. <laughs> Game's kind of impenetrable, isn't it? I, I, I <laughs> I'm so confused. It look it looks so much like it looks so much like Gauntlet. Like why why is it so obtuse? when it's basically a game that came out 30 years ago. I think Gauntlet's older than me. Do something good to me? Stop it! Leave me alone, you blorb! And go over here. Oh boy. Chicken! Haha! <laughs> 
and those shitty teammates to shoot it on accident. Now they're all just chasing me. Getting gold. <laughs> Got that going for me. Oh god, they're attacking through walls. I'm so doomed. Sylphic Nectar. Concentrated energy. Sylphic Nectar can revitalize even the most wary of travelers. It's not space... What? What was that? Their little gesture. I'm so doomed. I'm so The next night. The dream continues. Wait, it looped again. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, the intro screen. Oh no, the next night the dream continues. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna give up on this one. I don't think this is gonna work out. Man, Discord's getting a lot of free press in like every video game lately, isn't it? Like, join our Discord. It just says on every game all the time. We're playing Box, the game. Yeah. They probably could have come up with a better title than that, right? Some a little more exciting. It's a little more exciting. Anyway, it's not really mentioning it yet, but this is a puzzle game. That's a little loud. I'm gonna turn that down on my end. It's a puzzle game where you walk into things. Our research level? Okay. The green up there. If you touch something, it attaches to you. That's the... Yeah, that might be basically the core mechanic of the entire game. So my goal is to be that. Okay. Oops, I've made a horrible mistake. I failed. Uh, mouse wheel of zoom. Oh, there we go. That comes in handy. So you, they don't just attach to the central piece, they attach to all the pieces. So you gotta be careful. Or you'll get stuck. It looks like the orange pieces on the outside don't attach to you. Yeah. Okay, gotta make that shape. Okay. We can probably safely start off like this. Oop, don't walk into it. Got it. Pretty forward enough. Oh! Mr. Goatsy. What a classy number one person to have on that. Oh no. Sure, submit the next level. Do I have a name? Yeah, I do. Okay. Sure. I'll join the list. Interesting that they decided to have you... It'd be optional to be on the leaderboard, basically. Uh, so there's a trap. If I go straight forward... Assuming the blue has to be where it is on the on the thing up there. If I go straight forward, uh, this, the puzzle becomes unsolvable. Because these guys need to be to the sides of me. Let's try going like this instead. Dismantle their devious trap. And we want to go down from there. And I've probably failed, yeah. Nope. I want to sneak around up here, because I need to be at the top of the shape. So I don't want to be adding stuff to lower parts of me. Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Uh... No. <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. made a horrible mistake again. Well, actually, I, I could have redeemed that, but then I took it one step further. The important thing whenever you make a mistake is that you need to immediately make even worse mistakes. So that you just can sabotage any further chances of actually fixing the mistake you made up until that point. It's a really healthy way of dealing with problems, as you can tell. I've definitely lost again. You have, to th you, have to th you have to plan ahead. More than I have been. You definitely start with these two on top, because you won't be able to reach them otherwise. And probably these guys. I have to worry about these guys in the far ends, because they can be a little hard to reach otherwise. <gasps> no! <laughs> I thought I was on my way to doing a good job, and then I went and did that. Oh no. Let's leave those guys from, for being the for being the outsiders, so boop. 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 Filled in the square. Grab these guys last. 
Way cleaner. Way easier. Got it. Stick to that plan. Um... One guy has to be the, the piece on top. This gets complicated fast, huh? We'll see how this goes. Okay, so that's the maximum width. Now I can add one down in each direction. The center piece gets a side. Did I make a mistake? I totally did. I don't, I'm not sure how I made a mix, mistake that bad. I immediately made a mistake out the gate because I wasn't supposed to put one on top in the first place. Weird mistake to make. I wish that the blue contrasted with the green a little better. Like the outside border of orange stands out like crazy. But me in this giant mess can be hard, kind of hard to spot. Like which one is my me originally. Uh, let's grab you like this first before I make a mistake. No, let's put you right here. There we go. Now I just need to be exceptionally careful. I think I've already failed. <laughs> I think I've already messed up. Unless I go around this way. Ha ha! Ooh. Is problem. Yep, by trying to go down there, I'll immediately grab the wrong one, and we'll be in trouble. I've also cased- I've also caged it in too much. Okay. Actually really easy to make mistakes here. Admittedly, I should probably be planning ahead significantly more than I am, because I'm kind of just playing it by ear. And that clearly doesn't work at some point, because there's a lot to consider about what order to do things in. I can go down like this? Haha. -ha. Try to hook these guys in. I think I got it this time. There we go. Got it. Total moves way, 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 way too many. Alright. It's probably a serviceable puzzle game. Not the most appealing visual presentation, though. Here we go. We're playing Damsel. And... Controller's not working yet. Come on, controller. I believe in you. Open... Use open dyslexic. What? Is the idea that it uses... Huh. Is the idea to, like, use a font and everything that helps combat dyslexia, I guess? Huh. I'll, I can only assume. Alright, so, so far my controller's not picking up, which I can never tell if that's the game or my controller. But, uh, we'll just hop in. Damsel Dash Campaign Arcade. Let's do Campaign. Market research. Sure. Market research. I'm in the alley. Great. We have eyes on you. The package should be nearby. Going in. Standard investigation. Dash through enemies to release more skulls. What does that mean? <laughs> Hack the laptop. Zero to one. Okay. Any luck with control? Nope. Okay, let's play WSD. Super Skulls, you've got your first Super Skull. Super Skulls make killing enemies easier. There's so many of them. Skull dashing. When at least one Super Skull... With at least one Super Skull, dash through enemies to turn their hearts into more Skulls. Uh, I haven't seen an enemy yet, so I don't have context for this. How, how does one... Okay, right click is dash, left click is shoot, apparently. And spacebar is jump. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't even notice that she had grabbed onto the ledge. I thought I thought she just vanished because <laughs> the camera kept going. So I was looking in, I was looking for her in the middle of the camera. Oh, oh no. This game looks better in motion than it did in the cutscenes. It kind of comes together better when it's all moving around. Collecting every single one out of habit right now. Eight hundred thousand points. This is the zero zero zeros don't have a lot of meaning if everything has them. Got the intel? Anything juicy? We'll have to analyze it before we know more. But I've got another job for you. Head to location beta. What's the job? Eviction. Are they sleeping? We think so. Can't we wait till they're awake? No. Coffin Buster. Deadly dive attack is down plus right click. Are we fighting vampires? They're, they're sleeping. Evidently. Yeah, it does appear that we're fighting vampires. Okay. Hop on up, because we don't believe in stairs, even though this facility would definitely have to have them. Get him. A little weird that when you jump in this game, you always go to your maximum jump height. Jump height. You can't tap it to jump less. I think, I think you can't. Or at least you can't do a very small jump, like the kind of tiny jump you would do to just get a tiny skull that's slightly above your head. Boom, coffin buster. That probably spent something to do that. Wow, that's a lot of garbage. Vampires are filthy. Especially when you see that, like, this is how big I am. So look how big that garbage is compared to me. That's massive. They've been misbehaving. If I destroy the generator, can I then get past the barrier? Yep, that's how this works. And I'm just beating up the generator. All right. Oh, she's running in place. All right. Next. Mission complete. Good work, D. I know you hate a one-sided fight. Play some monitor so we know when the hive returns. And we've got that intel back. Looks like there's a feeding planned at the sh the Chapo Plaza Hotel. Fancy. Are my boots too casual? Not for the roof. That's a lot of electricity. And I just had to fix that. And you're dead. You alright? Uh, E. Uh, oh, am I supposed to keep- Okay, I guess I'm supposed to keep it inside or something? Man, he's throwing a goddamn party. I guess I would too if I wasn't getting killed by vampires. There's one stalking him in the background. He should really leave. There's clearly one in the background. Just waiting to get him the moment I walk away. Oh no. Oh, there you are. Do I just need to button mash E? I guess so. It's just like a really weirdly presented button mash quotum event, I guess. Can I jump that high? Can I double jump? Oh, I can double jump. Oh, that's good to know. I just shot a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. So I take it that's the basis of the game then. Okay. It's probably one of those borderline like puzzle platformers where you run around and you try to collect all the things, save all the dudes, kill the baddies. And it's and it's kind of framed like at, at an action game. But it's more it's more of like a one of those solve the level platformers. Did I just fall through the lightning? I think I did. That took two attempts because I'm embarrassing. That's yeah, the, the zero the first four zeros, I think I've never seen be anything besides zero, meaning they're kind of bluff for the scoring system. I think these guys are happy with the menu change, Swan. I know I would be. 
that monitor has triggered. Get back to the warehouse. Knock, knock. Good evening, sir. I'm DSA Special Agent Damsel. Pursuant of Section 42 of the Sanguarian Housing Act, 1971, I hereby notify you of your eviction from these premises, effective immediately. Should you wish to dispute... I think he wants to dispute. <laughs> Some decent art. Pressing next over and over again is a weird presentation a little bit. Oh, he, he melted, but an identical copy of him is next. So the same, they melt into a skeleton like in Blade, but they all look they all look identical apparently. Kill the vampires. Got him. That was easy. He didn't even face the right direction. I did not know this going in, but that I was that I was playing as a vampire hunter. <laughs> You think all the gunshots would wake some of them up? They're just really deep sleepers, these vampires. Can I shoot diagonally? Not quite. So I'm supposed to be, yeah. In addition to kind of solving the level, I'm supposed to be getting an optimum path. And so you're probably supposed to replay these levels after the first attempt to try to get a, a better time and a better multiplier. Because stringing actions together keeps your multiplier going, whereas if you idle, the little thing spins around and you run out. And then you're in trouble. Alright. Well, this has been Damsel. If you liked any of the, video, the games in this video, you can check out links in the description to their Steam pages. Uh, thanks to the developers for sending the codes so I can preview their games. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.